Vanessa Varela. And I'm Donnelly Canto. Welcome to United ITV News, a program that will show you what's happening at United ISD. You'll see events and activities that take place in our district. On today's show, we'll take you to Perales Middle School where school administrators had safety training on evac trips. And we'll show you some highlights on this year's Partners for Partners Golf Tournament. Those stories and more coming up on this exciting edition of United ITV News. The United Independent School District safety officials and Laredo Fire Department teamed up to train school administrators. Staff learned how to use evacuation chairs in two-story schools where disabled or injured people may need help during an emergency. About 50 administrators who are also safety site compliance officers attended the training that was organized by the Safety and Crisis Response Unit and Risk Management Department at Raul Perales Middle School. In the case of an emergency and we have a student or an adult that has a disability or is injured and isn't able to come down the stairs, uh, we have a special equipment uh, and we're training our staff on how to use that special equipment so then they can go and train their staff at their campuses uh, so that they will be able to aid those uh, students or teachers uh, in being able to evacuate in those emergency situations. Sebastian Valero, an, an EMS instructor with the Laredo Fire Department, said that elevators at the two-story schools should not be used during a fire. It's always important to know how to safely and properly use the tools provided. Um, that way we can effectively get the students or staff out of the building without causing any harm in case of a fire, fire drill. Um, it's always best to know exactly what tools you have like on hand in the building and how to use them. An evac chair is a chair that can be used safely to bring somebody down from a staircase. The evac chair has a special rail built into it that will allow the person handling the evac chair to roll the patient down the staircase without slipping or being too difficult. Safety is always a priority at United ISD, so updates and training are important to stay in compliance. United High School is giving back to veterans and military families by providing support for the unique challenges their children face. School counselor Kristen Davila realized the special needs of military-connected children when she was working at United Middle School. To begin this initiative, the school held a meet and greet with all the school's military-connected students. They gathered in the school's cafeteria to listen to guest speaker Captain Adrian Torres of the Texas Army National Guard, who told them about some of the educational benefits available to them as military dependents. Talk to them a little bit about the benefits and what they might be able to take advantage of. Like, Veterans, you are entitled to benefits and you're entitled to transfer those benefits to your, to your kid. Children and military families often bear the burden of being separated from their mother or father while de they deploy overseas. They often live with the stress of knowing their loved one may be in danger. Ms. Davila wants the students to know that UISD is here for them and to make them aware of the resources the district has for them and their families and what is available for them on campus. Emotional support, academic support, and just to know that everyone is here for them. United High School JROTC instructors Major Jose Loya Jr. and Master Surgeon Charles Blanky, Blankly retired this past December after teaching generations of students. Jose Loya Jr. enlisted in the Air Force in 1974. He had planned to use his GI Bill benefits to attend college and earn degree while serving an active duty. He served an active, an active duty for 29 years before retiring and becoming a junior ROTC instructor. He retired after 11 years dedicated to teaching at United High School. His focus had been not to teach teenagers how to be in the military, but how to be a good, responsible citizen. Whether they pursue military or civilian careers after graduation, Major Loya only wants them to remember one thing, work hard, never quit and to strive to reach their goal, no matter how hard it is going to be. Charles Lincoln blankly enlisted the Air Force in 1974. He served as a nuclear weapon specialist before moving on to becoming a computer operator and specializing in communications. He was given orders to come to Laredo and assess U.S. Customs as part of the Private Aircraft Enforcement Systems Program. He retired from the Air Force as a Master Surgeon after 22 years of service. 
although he only planned on staying in Laredo for five years, he became a JROTC instructor at United High School. He was approached teaching junior ROTC as a way to prepare teenagers for adulthood. He hopes that his students will take the lesson they learn in his classroom and apply them to live fulfilling lives. The USD Food Show 2023 was bigger and better this year, with more than 700 students attending at the Sains Outer Arena. The event is held annually by the Child Nutrition Department to obtain student feedback on possible new menu items for the following school year. This year, students from all the grade levels K-12 made their way to each booth sampling the food items for breakfast and lunch. Student volunteers from Johnson and United High Schools were present at each of the 27 booths. The kids opinion is very important to us. There are customers, we want to feed them foods that they like. Um, and this is an opportunity for them to taste and try new foods um, that can be on their menu for next year. A total of 26 schools participated and the students were accompanied by their teachers and administrators. The event is organized by the district's dietitians from the Child Nutrition Department. United ISD had had their partners for partners golf tournament. Let's look at some highlights of the event. It's a great day today. This is uh, one of the days we look forward to and, and, and that we're most proud of. We're hosting our annual uh, UISD Partners for Scholars golf tournament. All proceeds go to, uh, to scholarships for graduating seniors. Um, our goal every year is to get as many uh, participants in, and as we can uh, because every single little thing we make uh, it benefits our kids. This is the ninth year we do it. The tournament keeps getting better and better. Like every year it's sold out. Uh, we've got 40 teams, 120 players. Would like to thank Casablanca for being a, a great host. I mean, the course, the course is amazing. It's a, it's a great setup. Uh, it's right in the middle of town. And so uh, we're looking forward to a good time. Thanks again to UISD. This is, um, we've been doing this for multiple years. Um, we have multiple programs running and uh, we're, we're glad that this partnership has lasted as long as it has and we hope that it continues on for years to come. So we're really excited about this morning. This is one of our biggest events for scholarships, and so um, we're really excited about, you know, just the 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 camaraderie, the partnership, you know, that's going to be taking place today, and just the impact that this event has on our students. We're very, very fortunate. Uh, we've been able to do this great event for a great cause, um, and it seems like we're going to be able to raise a little bit more money, a uh, different venue, uh, a little bit less expensive, so we're able to make sure that we maximize that revenue to be able to bring uh, a real good benefit for our students. All the proceeds go to scholarships for our United ISD kids. A lot of great contributors, a lot of great sponsors, a lot of good players. It's going to be a competitive tournament and uh, it's going to be just an overall nice event. Brandon Uthiales, a student from J.B. Alexander High School, 
signed his letter of intent at the Casablanca Golf Course. Brandon received a scholarship to play golf at the University of the Southwest in New Mexico. Brandon had this to say about the people that supported his journey. I think it's a pretty great opportunity. Um, I'd like to thank um, everyone who has supported me throughout this long and tireless journey. And I'd like to thank my, my dad and my mom, my, my grandpa, the coaches I've had, and of course my family's support, my brother's support. Brandon also had this to say to his team. I'd like to thank uh, all the team's support for getting me through this journey and towards my final year. And I, I would like to thank every single coach that has gone through this team. He signed his letter of intent and had the opportunity to take pictures with his family, coaches, and fellow students. Congratulations to Brandon Udiales on his accomplishments. United ISD hosted the Border Olympic La Copa Championship at Carol E. Summers Junior Aquatic Center. 450 athletes participated in this competition. This has been the largest event U United ISD has hosted at the Aquatic Center. The event was a two-day event consisting of diving one day and swimming on day two. Luis Maria, aquatic coordinator for the Carol E. Summers Jr. Aquatic Center, had this to say to the future athletes. First thing to do is they need to start preparing by signing up for our summer camps and notifying the head coaches. That's where they'll meet the head coaches from the schools and get an idea of what it is to be a high school swimmer or diver. Congratulations to all the students athletes that competed in the event. Abigail Flores, the 17-year-old Alexander High School FFA president, overcame a lot of odds to become the, straight, the strong leader she is today. Initially, her parents couldn't understand why the three-year-old was delayed with speech and walking. They enrolled her in special education classes at Borchers Elementary. Today, she organizes district-wide activities such as clean, cleanups at Lake Casablanca and is the treasurer for the South Texas Area Winter Garden Chapter. She is the first female from the district to serve in that role and the first from Alexander High School to serve as well. Well, during the summer we hold an officer meeting and we just talk about our goals for the year. And one of my goals was to get all the UISD FFA chapters together and just be able to come out and get to know each other. We're all students who have similar interests in agriculture. And so my advisor, Mrs. Gonzalez, came came and helped me get some ideas and ultimately we decided on a service day project that would also benefit the community. The little girl who once had trouble speaking is now known for her confidence, public speaking abilities and networking skills. She also has a laser-like focus on accomplishing goals for her fellow members in FFA. Her main goal is to raise awareness of all the great ideas coming out of FFA organizations in Laredo. Flores says her long-term goal is to become a livestock veterinarian. The Youth of the Month program recognizes outstanding high school students in our community. Students are chosen based on their academic success, their extracurricular activities, and their service to the community. Congratulations to these United ISD Youth of the Month recipients. Coming up on United ITV News, Baskin Elementary had a graduation for their Parenting Partners program. And some United South Method School students had etiquette training at La Posada. Don't change that channel. You're watching United ITV News. Listen up all United ISD high school students. You could win a new car and other great prizes just by going to school. The UISD Never Be Absent program is back this year and it's bigger and better than ever. All you have to do is have perfect attendance during any nine week period and you'll be eligible to win a new 2024 Kia Sportage courtesy of Sames Kia in the classroom. You could be driving to school in style, but remember, never be absent. Vaping is dangerous. Vapes contain metals such as nickel, tin, 
and lead. Some vape cartridges contain the same amount of nicotine as one pack of cigarettes. Nicotine is addictive and dangerous. It's a crime to have vapes if you're under 21. Especially if they contain THC. In 2020, almost 3,000 hospitalizations and 68 deaths due to lung injury caused by vaping were reported in the U.S. Most of these deaths involved vapes with THC. Why would you do this? Don't, Don't vape. vape. If you're looking for employment with good pay and great benefits, join a winning team. United ISD was recently voted the reader's choice for best place to work. UISD currently has openings for bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria workers, teacher aides, and police officers. If you're interested in applying, you can complete an application online by going to www.uisd.net or call 473-6273 for more information and join a winning team. Cajun is, together with Teyes Law Firm selected Salvador Garcia Middle School teacher Angela Bautista as Teacher of the Month. Ms. Bautista has been teaching for eight years at Salvador Middle School. She currently teaches sixth grade. Ms. Bautista tells us about her favorite part of being a teacher. The students definitely getting to see the growth happen before my eyes. Um, I enjoy everything and the experiences that we create together and getting to see them in the future and what they've accomplished thus far. She also tells us what motivates her to come to work every day. Uh, my students and knowing that they, that every day that we spend together is a memory that they will cherish later on in life. Ms. Bautista was surprised in her classroom with a goodie basket, a $250 check, and donuts for her students. Afterwards, everyone took a group picture. Congratulations to Angela Bautista for being recognized as KGNS Teacher of the Month. Kazan Elementary hosted the Superintendent Student Advisory Board. Honor Society students from Kazan Elementary and students from the Superintendent Student Advisory Board got together to work on a poster for a blanket and jacket drive for the school. Principal Monica Arriaga tells us how these events help the students. Well, for the Honor Society students, it's a great way to expose them to the different organizations um, uh, um, out there in the high schools. Right now, our, our Honor Society is composed uh, comprise mainly of our fourth and fifth grade students. So it's going to be exposing them to the different organizations. Sometimes elementary students just think that it's, it's only sports, um, you know, like sports. And so we have a UIL represented, we have FFA, uh, we have uh, the Honor Society, Spanish Society. Um, I understand there's like a culinary, culinary arts at LBJ. Uh, so different organizations and I guess opening them up to that. And um, it's also a part of uh, the transition from fifth grade to the secondary setting. Kazan Elementary also had a game day for students with perfect attendance at the school's gym. The Superintendent Student Advisory Board students helped during the event. It was a great learning experience for all USC students. United High School and Alexander High School had their career day. Many organizations from the community participated in career days to talk to students about their professions. Let's take a look at some highlights of the events. I, I'd like for all of you the inspiring character, integrity, the values that, the, that, that are important to, to get to where you want to be.
Baskin Elementary had their Parenting Partners graduation ceremony. A total of 25 parents graduated from the Parenting Partners program at Baskin Elementary. The parents attended six meetings where they learned strategies that will help them with their children's education. Principal Liliana Baragan tells us more about the event. Uh, this session helps the parents learn new techniques on what they can do at home to help their children, uh, whether it be for homework or for study habits, and just motivate them to do their best here at our campus. The parents formed a circle and had the opportunity to share what they have learned, being part of the Parenting Partners program. Principal Baragan encourages parents to participate in the Parenting Partners sessions to help in the children's education. United ISD had some etiquette training for some magnet students from United South High School. Let's look at some highlights. This group is the 11th grade group from our magnet program. So we have about 100 kids that are at any given cohort that are present for this presentation. It is important that our students get as many, many learning experiences as they can. The competition out there is very, very stiff. So we want to be able to prepare our students in such a way that if they go against anybody from any part of the country, they will be at par and they'll be able to perform to the best of their abilities. I am in San Antonio, but I travel around the country conducting these sessions and I teach corporate etiquette. But I'm here today in Laredo to work with the high school students because I have an allegiance to them. I've worked with them for seven years. You know, I'm very excited. I believe that uh, our Magnet Dean, Mr. Karoma, has truly set uh, a great learning platform for our students to acquire those skills that are crucial as we move on to post-secondary, whether it be immediately to career or advancing to you know, higher education. These type of skills are going to be necessary. We have our business magnet, and part of what we try to do is to really get our kids ready for the business world. So we're looking at opportunities that can help them gain the kind of soft skills that normally they would not have in the classroom so they'll be prepared for a world outside of the classroom. So I think some basic skills are just knowing where you, your utensils go, knowing how to hold the utensils, knowing what to do with your napkin, knowing how to make table conversation, knowing how you can step away from the table courteously and then come back. They love it because this is putting everything they've learned into practice. So we could tell from their reactions, from their questions, it's really something that they are into and they're enjoying the experience of learning how it is to interact in a business-like setting. You know, I was very intrigued and surprised not only by her talent and the way she's able to, I guess, engage our students. Uh, it, it takes a lot to engage our high school students, but we understand that Diane is really um, such a high commodity, not only at the university level, uh, but this is one of the schools and only schools that she's actually taken the time to uh, teach our students the hidden rules and the hidden skills that we need that maybe we don't take the time to do in a regular um, curriculum at the high school and I'm very excited to have her here. Soft skills are leadership skills so 85% of our job success and base is based on our ability to put others at ease and that's a study done by Harvard, Stanford and the Carnegie Foundation. So I teach my students who are CEOs, C-suite, executives and university students and of course here at the high school that everything they do matters. Building relationships is built on trust. And soft skills must be learned because that's how we become the people that we are. The Cherish Center had their Thanksgiving meal with their staff and students. This was a day of gratitude and being able to get together and enjoy the meal as a family. Joseph Lopez, Cherish Center director, tells us more about the event. It's very warming uh, to have everyone get together and enjoy uh, our not only the food but our social interactions with each other. It's so very important during this particular time. Our students have gone through a lot of uh, classes understanding not only the traditions and the things that are about Thanksgiving but also making sure that they realize that as together we are one family no matter where we come from, we service all four high schools and we come together as one for this meal. Everyone enjoyed the special event. United South High School celebrated their fifth year win for having the best senior walk. The students gathered at the school's gym to celebrate their win. 
United South High School had the most exciting, creative, and school spirit week senior walk from UISD. United South High School principal Marta Alvarez tells us how proud she is of her school. I'm super proud of our class of 2024. We continue to move forward strong and again to all our parents and our community because South is a community. It's not only the students, not only the faculty, but it's also our parents and all are, of course, uh, people that have graduated, they still continue to have children here, our alumni, and all our supporters around town. Everyone took the opportunity to take pictures with staff, students, and with the trophy. Congratulations to United South High School for their wins. The Energy and Environmental Department gathered at the Student Activity Complex to have a recognition for some UISD employees. The UISD employees gathered to thank the plumbing department and other departments for their support at United Middle School. One by one, the employees were called to be recognized by USD administrators for their service to the community and the students of UISD. We're a, the facilities department, we're a service organization. We're here to serve and our goal actually is to make sure that the environment for our kids is adequate so that they can do their job, which is learn. Many organizations and departments were involved in supporting United ISD. United ISD thanks all of them for their service. The United South High School Mariachi performed at El Portal, downtown Laredo. The Mariachi was invited to play during a live broadcast from the local TV station KGNS Telemundo. The Mariachi performed several selections for the live audience and the people passing by. This is what Assistant Band Director Leonardo Galvan had to say. If you all can just continue supporting the, our, our culture through Mariachi, through all the fine arts, uh, no matter what district we're going to, United South has a great, great population of students and they just need you all support. If you all even show up to their performances, that means a great deal to our students here at United ISD. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to watch all the latest UISD videos on our YouTube channel. You've been watching United ITV News. We hope you enjoyed our show. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.